Now we'll continue our setup and we're going to set up our categories. We're going to set up our post categories and our tags and our link categories. You can find this just by clicking on manage from the dashboard. First thing we're going to do is create our post categories. Now by default we have uncategorized. All we have to do is click add new and then you give it a category name. Category slug will be assigned by the blog and you can assign that yourself if you want. If we're going to have a parent we can make this a subcategory. You can just select the parent out of here. We're not going to do that for this first one. Then you can enter an optional description here if you want. I will add our category. And then you can add as many categories as you want, of course. You just decide which ones you want to start with and you enter them in. And of course, you can update those at any time. And so I'll just add a couple for now. Okay, so we have our categories showing up here now. And if we wanted to make subcategories, we could do it like this. So under holiday categories, maybe I want Christmas. And then I can select the parent, holiday specials. And if we come up, we'll see that Christmas is now under holiday specials. We're going to use these during post time when we make our posts we will select a category for that post to be linked to. Next, let's look at tags. These tags are also used at the post level and you can set up your default tags in here. So all you have to do is just type them in here and update. Slug is the same thing as with categories. So we'll add the tag and I'll add one more here add and okay now we have a couple of tags in there next we'll add our link categories by default we have blog role in here but you can create other types of link categories so let's go ahead and create one here slug again you can either create it yourself or you can let the system create it so we'll just add our category now we have our blog roll and our cell phone accessories. Now media library, I'll just mention this while we're here, there's nothing in here yet. This is stuff that you add during your posts and we're going to get to that next. Over here we have import. If you have a blog on another blogging system you can actually import the posts into this blog. And export This is a way to export all the data on your blog and save it to your computer. You can then restore from this if you need to. Now let's clean up our blog. When the blog was created, some default posts were created in the database and some default pages. So let's go ahead and just delete these. So just cl click the check mark and click delete. And do the same thing with your posts. Click the box, click delete, and then have a look in the comments. Shouldn't be anything there because when we deleted the post, the comment should have gone with it, which it did. Now the last thing we're going to want to do is actually go back to manage again, and we should delete all the stuff out of our blog role that's by default. If we go view our site right now, You'll see that down the side here we have blog role and we have all these things underneath here. We want to get rid of those. So let's go back in and then go into manage. Then click on links. And then just click up here in this little box and delete all the links here. Okay, and now our blog is empty and ready to write 
our own content in here. Before we start writing our content, we're going to go over how to add functionality to our blog by using plugins. If we click over here where it says plugins, you'll see that there are a couple in here by default. This is an anti spam plugin, and this one isn't really useful at all. But what we can do is we can go out and find some plugins that we want to use on our blog to increase its functionality, and then we can upload them and activate them from here. I'm going to suggest a few of them to you in the next section. To find plugins for your blog, on the plugin page, you can roll to the bottom and you'll see something called the WordPress plugin directory. When you go there, you'll see that they have plugins and they're categorized into different categories here. So you can just go into the ones you want and pick any of them that you want 